Many questions left unanswered surrounding the latest scandal in our state capitol. As we've been telling you, State House Speaker Glenn Cassida announcing he will resign soon. This after allegations of racist and sexist text messages sent between Cassida and his former chief of staff, Cade Cothran. But the question tonight, what's next? Yeah, live coverage tonight from Nashville. State Capitol reporter Chris Bungard hearing from our governor on the issue and joins us now live. So, Chris, what are you learning tonight? Well, we had a chance to catch up with the governor earlier today in Cookville with some of the questions you've been posing. Here's what he said about Speaker Cassidy's intended resignation. Was the governor satisfied with the speaker's intentions to resign? I felt like he ought to, and, and he has, so um, that's all I can ask for. The governor sees no reason now to call a special session, as he said he would do if Speaker Cassida didn't plan to resign. But Speaker Pro Tem Bill Dunn, who will assume Cassida's duties, said Tuesday he still wants to meet with Lee and Lieutenant Governor McNally on a best way forward. We will be working with the legislature to see what direction they go. Cookville Rep. Brian Williams, who was formerly Republican House Caucus Chair until January, talked about the healing ahead for the House and the Speaker's role in that. And hopefully over the next days he'll uh, help us lay out a timeline of what he's thinking so that we can better prepare and that healing process can start. Earlier Tuesday, longtime Cassida supporter Representative Susan Lynn shared how the speaker told her Monday night he intended to resign. Well, I called him and asked him if he was all right, and he, uh, in his upbeat way, he said, I'm at peace. I, I really am. I'm at peace. He said, I'm going to resign. I don't know when. I want to plan for this so that it will be a very organized and peaceful transition. She added what Speaker Cassidy said he took away from Monday's nearly two to one no confidence vote in the midst of a scandal where he replied to some sexist texts from his former chief of staff. Then he also expressed thanks for everybody who voted for him and even thanks for everybody who didn't because it was it's a learning experience. While well, the time of Glenn Cassidy as speaker is about over here, not so much for the questions still remaining in the path forward for the Tennessee House. Reporting from Nashville, Chris Bungard, WATE News. All right, Chris, appreciate it. As for the speaker, immediately he said, well, for days now, that he plans to leave this week for a two-week vacation that includes Greece. We'll stay on top yep. of this for everyone.